Okay, so let's take a look at how to actually use the Gunner Technology Dynamic Menu plugin. Uh, what the what the plugin is designed to do is to uh, create a widget that will allow you to basically put a menu anywhere and even create new placements for menus or theme locations for menus if, if one doesn't exist. So in this case, our um, our menu is right up here at the top. We have product, photography, corporate events, workshops, more services, contact us, and about us, which is actually a drop-down menu. Um, so to see how that's structured, if you look in menu, we have a menu name called primary, and it's in the theme location uh, primary. So here's the menu right here, and here's the widget that actually does it. Here's our nav menus widget, and you can see it's set to nav location primary. So nothing special there. As a matter of fact, if we change it, we can change this to nav location sample, save it. If we go back to menu, we can see what uh, this is a sample placement. If you look over here, it has the test menu. So when we refresh, we should see just testing up there. So that's how that works right there. Um, now, the cool thing about the plugin is it'll allow you to create a new location. So we'll say, um, for, we'll call this for video, we'll say location test for video, and we'll save this, and then we can set it to for video. Now, nothing's actually going to work because we don't have a, we don't actually, we haven't actually used that location yet. So here's our new location. So let's create a new menu name and we'll say um, brand new menu. And uh, we'll create a custom link called for our video and add it to this menu. Then save the menu and then we'll add it to the location that we just created. So now if we go back, we'll see there is our new link. Now, uh, if you wanted to add another one of these, say in the footer, you can just drag this over here and we'll use our for video. We'll save this and we'll change this back to our primary. Save this and go back and reload and you have your primary back and you have our nav menu down there which is for video. Uh, so, so that's that basically concludes on how to use the plugin. Uh, please, you know, if you have any questions or comments, uh, go to the website gunnertech.com and leave us a comment or let us know if you'd like to see some addition to this plugin.